We're gonna cover so much behind the scenes in this video talking about making your films better, how to direct better. But one quick tip I wanna give you off the top. When you're making your film, don't have the person say their name and their profession. It's such a waste of time and I see this in so many films. So I'll have someone sit there and say, hi, my name is John Smith and I'm a gardener. This is truly a complete waste of your audience's time. Not only can you just put that in a lower third, but show us. Don't have them say it. This is quite literally the most boring thing you could have that person do. And I don't know why everyone feels so adamant to include this in their films. That's just a quick tip. But even before I get into all the behind the scenes today and give you some tips on making your films better, I wanna repeat something I often talk about, and that's if you can recognize the difference between a topic and a story, your films will improve. A story is a person moving towards a desire, towards a goal. There is a main character. And if you don't have this, you have to ask yourself, am I making a topic-based film? And if you are, what is the question your film is answering? This is now the journey. Your topic can be about pollution, it can be about politics, it can be about history, but there has to be a core question. Otherwise, we're just watching a series of random scenes that don't seem to have a goal. So with that in mind, let's talk about making this tornado chasing film and let's break down how to make a better film. And we're gonna do this pretty quickly. When you meet someone, if you are trying to find your film, here is the two questions that will help you guarantee that they are an interesting person. The first one is what do they want? What is the physical goal? This is the physical journey of your film. What are they moving towards? In the case of the tornado film, Ricky and Chris, his partner, they wanted to find the biggest tornado possible. Now, what is the existential journey? This is the metaphysical journey. This is the journey that we don't necessarily see on camera physically happening, but it's happening on the inside of your character's emotions and their mind. I don't wanna give away too much of the film, but there is a metaphysical journey that happens in this film with one of the characters, Ricky, and the circumstances that unfold with him and his partner, Terza. This extra layer of the film is what makes it fascinating. You think of the film Oppenheimer. The physical journey was them making the nuke, was them making this atom bomb. The metaphysical journey, well, there was lots. It was looking at Oppenheimer's kind of womanizing, but it was also looking at his existential crisis of if he makes this, it will kill so many people. But creating the atom bomb, Oppenheimer believed it could have the potential to create a lot of peace because no longer would people fight if there was the threat of nuclear fallout. New clear fallout. New clear fallout. It's pronounced nuclear. Find those two layers with your character. If you can't identify them, you might want to start asking more questions and dig deeper to find that everyone has a metaphysical journey that they're experiencing in their life. By the way, just before I move on, I wanted to mention this. This is an FX6. It's what we shot on the Tornado Project, and we're giving away one of these. It's an incredible camera setup. We bought it, and we're giving it away. If you wanna know more information about that, I put a link below. And why are we giving it away? Well, we're opening the doors for the Art of Documentary on September 8th. And what is the Art of Documentary? Well, is our academy. We started it three years ago, and we've seen thousands and thousands of filmmakers join this community and create their first films, increase their businesses, make a lot more money so they can go make those films and passion projects. And one of the most important things we've seen with AOD is people finding community. They find lifelong friends, they find mentors, they get to connect with other like-minded filmmakers. We just did our first film festival in person. And we have a really highly engaged Facebook group where people ask tech questions or get their films reviewed or get crew hired. There's something for everyone in Art of Documentary. And what's great is if you buy any one of our courses, you get lifetime access to that Facebook group and to that community. So we're opening the doors. We have bundle pricing on all of the courses. I'll be talking a lot more about this. You wanna get on our mailing list if you wanna win this. We put the contest details below. So make sure to get on that. We'll be doing some Zoom calls if you want more information, if you're curious if AOD is right for you. So stay tuned. Get into that contest. I wanna help you make your films and I wanna give you the gear to help you make that film. The 
The next thing is deciding when to film that person. You don't wanna just throw them down in an interview when nothing is going on in your life. It's about deciding those key moments. And this is where you wanna create constant contact with your character. Doing weekly phone calls or bi-monthly phone calls, however frequent it is that doesn't put stress on that relationship. Finding out what's going on and what's important because often the person is doing something that they might think is innocuous, it's just part of their regular life, but it becomes very important. I wanted to look at a film about storm chasers who are in the field chasing the storms, but then I wanted to see that tension is if they have a family at home, how do they run towards the danger, but also be a responsible father? Hey, I have three kids. You don't think I want to go home? So I told them, if anything is happening at home that is interesting for you, call me up. And sure enough, some pretty intense stuff came up in Ricky's life, and I was lucky enough that he invited me to come film and be a part of that. Now you may be asking, well, how do you build that trust with your character? How do you build trust with someone so that they'll invite you into your life? Say the most important thing is vision. If your person doesn't know why you're making your film, if they can't understand the vision and why you wanna create certain scenes or what is the goal of your film, they're gonna just feel like you're taking from them. But when I give the vision to the characters I'm working with, they understand the film I'm making and then they come alongside me and it's almost like they're co-directing because they now understand that and they see how it incorporates to their life. Next thing, before you ever hit record, this is a big thing I talk about often, and that is determining the tone and the style of your film. This is another character, this is the texture, this is what your film will feel like. Before I ever went to set, I watched hours of tornado footage, and what I also did is I went and created a music bed playlist, and I just played a ton of music underneath that and I began getting into the world of what I would film before I ever did, and I could begin deciding what is this tone? What is the style that I'm making? What is this brooding evil alien from the sky that is descending? And that's where I began to see that before I could ever make the film. Otherwise, we are just staring at the clouds. And this is when I actually brought in a really cool composer, Tim Mann. He works with Musicbed often, and the tracks he made for this film are actually available on Musicbed. And I have put a playlist below of all my favorite songs that I play when I'm trying to get into the mood of that. You can check that playlist below. But Tim and I worked on a couple tracks specifically for this film to really help express what was going on. Your visuals is what people are seeing, but they're not always clear. The music can help people know what they should be feeling. I think wall-to-wall -wall music is a mistake in a film, but your music is a key way to help express what is going on in that metaphysical journey. What is that fear? What are the emotions? So for Tim and I, we worked on a few moments in the film where we really tweaked his music and really got it to specifically kind of underpin and hint towards what was going on. And what's great is you can actually go use those tracks yourself that we created. They're original songs and they're all on Musicbed. And if you want to know all the gear I used on this, I did actually a breakdown video quite some time ago showing my whole kit that I used on set. I'll put that link right now on the video. Video, and you can go watch that as well if you'd like. Now, if you're looking for a place to jump into some inspiration, I've put two playlists below in the description. One is the actual Tornado playlist, and then the second is just my Mark Bone playlist. This is my favorite tracks from Musicbed, and it's the thing that I often go to play while I'm in the office, when I'm thinking of new films, or when I'm online reading the news, trying to figure out my next doc. I play that so that I'm already in a cinematic universe. Check that out below. Musicbed can help you take your projects to the next level. And if you use the discount code Mark Bone, you can get one free month for an annual subscription. So I hope these help today. If you like this type of teaching, I go way more in depth in the art of documentary. But if you can identify the difference between a topic and story, you're gonna be way ahead of so many filmmakers out there because so many people get enamored with shooting cool shots and getting good B-roll and they forget the core of their film the story. That is the nucleus to what you're making. It will power the film and it will help your audience, your client, your customers engage with the films you're making, knowing those journeys and being able to tell that on screen. That is the power of film directing. That is the power of storytelling. So hope you enjoyed this. I hate goodbyes, but I'll see you in the next one. So uh, I guess when you're a tornado hunter, you drive towards the tornado when most people are driving away. Yeah, Ricky's Ricky's getting all equipped. All I'm worried about is if I'm getting clean audio, which I'm so stressed about. I'm more worried about clean audio right now than I am about the tornadoes.